Hey, how y'all doing today, YouTubers and Facebook? We're doing another video on uh, how I got a lot of things set up set up here. Well, this is my viral velocity power shop. It's kind of a mess, but hey, it looks, it looks all right. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all some more stuff that I um, inside my, some of my components. Let you know how I get everything set up. But anyway, uh, hope y'all enjoy, and uh, we'll we'll start the video now. All right. Grab this old camera. All right. Okay. All right. That's a little tour of my little shop. And the phone's ringing. Hello. Uh, no, ma'am. You sure didn't. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's okay. All right. All right. Bye bye. Well, somebody had, somebody had the wrong number. Oh, well, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, air conditioner and rectifiers, the whole nine yards. Everything's kind of a mess, but my other little off-grid system. And this is my AGM battery that I have it going on. The Universal Battery Group. A 90 uh, amp hour, 27 series. And it's no harmful need a heater or nothing like that. They won't nothing will happen to it. It's my Xantrax Pro Watt. Um Pro Watt Pro Sign inverter. And it's like I said it's five hundred no six hundred watts, excuse me. There it is. And that's getting charged from my Morning Star Sun Saver. Nice little system. Like I say I'll run my stereo with it. Or charge my iPod up with it. And there's how many volts. Twelve point nine. That's kicking. And I'll cut it off. Alright, let's go to the other side. See what I got going on here. Sorry about that old phone call and everything, but it's getting night here in Virginia. The sun's already down. There's a UL solar mount, and there are the panels at night. Well, in the evening anyway. Oh, yeah, it's pretty, ain't y'all? And y'all, of course, y'all y'all seen the backside of the shit, but this is how every everyone should be set up. Every system should be set up. This is my midnight solar, uh, 250, 250 amp uh, breaker box. I say it's my midnight solar, and I got my warning stickers on the DC disconnect. I got everything coming in here from my my wind going to this 60 amp breaker here, and this is my DC PB control. 60 amps and this is my load control for my this turns my uh, charge controller off and like I say yep turn the charge, charge controller off and let's see here and this is my grounds and all my grounds for my, my batteries grounds for my batteries battery bank uh, PB grounds wind turbine grounds uh, let's see here this is my main disconnect switch right here. I shut this switch off right here. Inverter switch on off. It's just my inverter. Uh, everything to my battery bank is shut off. Safety reasons. And and these are my little my little wires going here. They're going to my tri my trimetric. And this this is a good box to have. Safety reasons. And it shows you. I'm sorry about the light, y'all. But it shows you the actual <laughs> setup what I got. <laughs> it's right here. There's the uh, uh, diagram on the uh, panel itself. So that's what I got. Anyway, but just want to let y'all see what see what's inside of my my DC disconnect. And this is going to my uh, 
right here this is going to my inverter this cable is going to my inverter right here and right here my shut off where I shut everything off right here and my ground my ground going to my battery and ground going to my inverter so that's what does it anyway thank y'all for watching and okay also this is my other little box a midnight solar box this is my morning star charge controller box that's my shut off there and this is goes to my my divert load air heater slash 24 volt 1000 watt 35 amp air heater or divert load from a wind those are all my breaker switches here and I got a main breaker switch from a wind right here y'all can see that anyway and disconnect from a this is that disconnect from a solar also but anyway thank y'all for watching y'all have again anyway shut this I'll shut this panel right, right, I got quick access I got a quick snap yeah, it's pretty quick anyway y'all so how I got everything but that right there protects from people getting into it it's like a lock do it with one hand but anyway there she is and you got quick access okay well y'all thank y'all for watching i just want to show y'all how i got everything set up more or less but on my dc side and my ac side is protected as well and over here this cable comes up one goes to the house one goes to the house the other goes to my main panel box in my shop then that goes to the house. That's my power shop. And right here. This right here is my 30 amp breaker outback inverter. 30 amp breaker. Okay, y'all can see that. That's what go that's what controls my inverter. To bring power to the inverter and bring power out of my inverter. 30 amp breaker. Okay. And right here, as you can see, is my Honda EU2000i generator. That switch. Or grid tie uh, solar and wind power. But when I go off grid I, and, and the power is out completely, I go, I, that's why I, I, I turn that switch. And that's what switch everything off to my generator but everything is island protected so it's safe from the power company and no one will get shocked out of nothing on the line on the line when the power is out or when power you know all going off grid on grid or off grid i have my choice anyway thank y'all for watching y'all have a good one okay bye bye